So this is my video about um, walking sticks, but also something else. So on the left you see also a regular umbrella, which is quite sturdy and quite a big one, but still is a lot weaker than the next uh, umbrella. This is more of an umbrella that we use for a wedding, so very robust. And next to it is, we call it an unbreakable umbrella. So this one is even more robust, stronger tip, and they have a different uh, approach. They have a polypropylene shaft instead of the steel ones of the other ones. Next to it is a very lightweight, uh, adjustable walking stick. So it's aluminium, but very light, and you can adjust it to fit a very small size, almost like this. So to store it, for example, next to it, it's a walking stick of light aluminium, the orange one, orange red one, and it carries some survival items like a, a compass, a window breaker on the that tip, tip here, and uh, it has a, a pointy bit, so the the knob that hits the ground is more for a rough terrain, so it's quite pointy. Also, it could carry a saw or something like that. Next to it, you see the same principle, but then more robust. Aluminium, far thicker, far heavier, without all the added functionality such as a compass and all the other stuff. Next to it you see more of a shepherd-like walking stick. Better deals also examining it here. With a hook in it. Another hook design you see next to it. It's just more of an old X-inspired design. Both are completely plastic. And next to it you see a full aluminium walking stick, so a very elegant type of walking stick. And next to that you see a, com uh, yeah, a steel tube with a narrow, uh, small diameter uh, layer, and it has some uh, uh, limited prying ability, so there's a very small pry bar at the top that you can also take out. Next to it you see an, uh, some uh, cold steel. So these two are also uh, CS. So you see here um, the walkabout, so simple walking stick, and next to it is African walking stick. And on the end, you see something completely different than a walking stick. This is a, they call this a fitness maze bell thing. So it's far too heavy, four kilograms, but it could be used for training, for example. You see it here. And also the other walking sticks could also double up as training tools of course. So just get some uh, cardiovascular exercise but also some strength and fitness and flexibility. Of course the main theme is except the maze bell here which is a fitness tool. All these other uh, tools could be used as a walking stick to a degree. Of course if you use the umbrella you have uh, the drawback that you it will bend over all the force that you could exert on it but the light work could help could still hold up. The same will be with this uh, collapsible walking stick. If you are too heavy, you will have troubles with it. This uh, umbrella here could be the best of both worlds. So it could co give you some cover against rain, but could also double up as a walking stick. The benefit of the straighter edges that you can see here is that you can also uh, use it a little bit to lean on. For example, if you want to sit, but there's nowhere to sit on. Those could help, of course, as well. Now I will show you some of the features of the, each individual stick or the likes. Let's start with the maze bell.